again friends, it's good to be able to share from my little snug room a time of reflection. From Matthew chapter 8, we read these verses from 24 to 27 the, in the New International Version. Suddenly a furious storm came up on the lake so that the waves swept over the boat, but Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him saying, Lord save us, we're going to drown. He replied, you have little faith. Why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the wind and the waves, and it was completely calm. The men were amazed and asked, what kind of man is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. There's a lovely anonymous poem entitled, We Are Not In The Same Boat, reminding us of the truth that we are in the same storm. But our boats, our experience, our journey through this pandemic is unique and personal to us. In human terms, we know that people have lost far more than they deserve to. Clinicians, medics and other frontliners have had to sacrifice way more than they should have had to. And many with mental health struggles continue to have far less support than they deserve to have. This storm is real. And so are individual struggles and suffering through the storm. One thing that is sure is that we will not understand the whys this side of heaven because God's ways are not our ways. But we move forward committing our fears to God and asking him to carry us through this storm. Well, even outside of these pandemic times, we can't avoid the storms of life. I've been deeply impacted when working alongside teenagers and young men and women, sometimes not so young men and women, in food bank and homelessness settings. They've hit hard times to discover that it's not just one thing that's gone horribly wrong for them. But like an onion, there are layers of hardship. Because when someone has no real income and finance struggles are real, then that can negatively impact on everything else. Their behaviours, their reactions to life, their relationships, the roof over their head, and of course, without any decent nutrition or emotional support, their total health. Maybe many of us have not had to suffer such layers of multiple hardships, but for some, even one storm in life can break the spirit and create a crisis. And this year for each of us has presented new challenges, struggles, emotions, loss. Fortunately for us, there has been real support available through our family and our church family. The Kirkgate Cafe volunteers have shared a WhatsApp group online since last March and we've been able to support each other through all the ups and downs of our journeys, throwing in some regular humour to keep each other going too. I know that some of you have been able to connect through link groups online and our young people too have been able to enjoy their online connection and fellowship with their own age group. If your boat feels a bit battered by this storm, or a bit unstable. Remember that God often provides the support that we need in life through others in our church family. Don't be afraid to reach out in a storm towards others who can at least listen. John reminded us on Sunday of the importance of showing compassion, seeing each other with Christ's eyes. Through this current raging storm, may it be that as a church body, our compassion will grow and grow so that we are equipped for the aftermath of this storm too. Shall we share a prayer together? Loving Father, we thank you for your provision. We praise you that today we are safe in your love and protection. We take time to thank you for bringing us through so many storms in life. Times we thought we were drowning because we were overwhelmed by grief or despair. We pray for those who are being battered by this current COVID storm through loss, poor health, 
financial crisis and struggles through relationships. Lord, please open our eyes. Please let us see those around us that are in need of our compassion. Compel us to listen to them, to hear their needs. Give us hearts to be interested in others' troubles and provide for us the means to help them. Father, today be the real calm in our souls and help us to bring some calm and love to others around us today. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Saviour and friend. Amen. Amen. And thank you again for sharing.